In the past few days, there have been several headlines about the Earth's inner core. Some say that it stopped rotating, other headlines say that it's reversing its spin, yet more headlines say that it's slowing its rotation. These stories have all come about because of a new study that found that the Earth's inner core has indeed slowed down in its speed of rotation and, quote-unquote, stopped rotating. But it's a bit more complicated than that. Let's have a look at what actually happened at the center of our planet that led scientists to believe that a large iron ball in the middle of the Earth is spinning slower than before. First, a little context to understand what's happening inside the Earth. The inner structure of the Earth is divided broadly into four main layers. The outermost layer is the crust, which is about 10 to maybe 40 kilometers thick. Underneath that is the mantle. The mantle is mostly made of solid rock. Over geologic timescales, it behaves like a viscous fluid, popularly described as having the consistency of caramel. It stretches to almost 3,000 kilometers below the surface. And then underneath the mantle is the outer core and then the inner core. The outer core is a fluid made up of iron and nickel and goes up till about 5,000 kilometers below the surface. And inside this outer core is the inner core. This inner core is fully solid and is basically a ball of iron and nickel alloy. It has a radius of about 1,200 kilometers, making it about three-fourths the size of the moon and a fifth of Earth's. We do not have direct samples of material from the mantle, outer core or the inner core. We simply cannot reach that far down below. The material we've seen from the mantle is all magma and lava. And we know that during some kinds of quakes, there is a section of the underside of the crust that sinks into the mantle. But we can't possibly obtain material from the inner or the outer core at all. So then, how do we know what the inner structure of the Earth is like? We understand the Earth's interior from seismic waves. We track waves from earthquakes and we know how they propagate. And based on that, we can tell what material they propagate through and thus deduce the internal structure of the planet. What we've learned about the core so far is quite little but extremely fascinating. The Earth spins and the Earth's insides spin with it. The mantle and the liquid outer core also rotate along with the crust. But the inner solid iron core is encased within the liquid iron core. The solid ball spins independently because of electromagnetic forces from the outer core. The rotation of the outer core made of iron and nickel is what causes the magnetic field around Earth as well. And this outer core essentially separates or decouples the inner core from the rest of the planet. At least this is what several scientists believe and it is one of the models that help explain what is happening thousands of kilometers underneath our feet. Most scientists think that the inner core now can rotate along with the crust either faster or slower or match speed with the rest of the Earth. It spins in the same direction as the rest of the Earth. Now some clarity is needed here. The inner core rotates in the same direction as the Earth's outer core, mantle and crust. It doesn't change its direction of rotation but it changes its speed of rotation and this is measured relative to the rotation of the rest of the Earth or for simplicity's sake, just the mantle. So the inner core spins either faster or slower or at the same speed as the mantle. Now we come to the new findings. In the new study, researchers studied quakes from 1995 to 2021 with a focus on doublets. Doublets or doublet waves are repeating earthquakes at the same region with nearly identical waveforms. They are typically a part of the same earthquake and are shocks of similar magnitude. After the first shock, the next one could occur after seconds or minutes or months and even years. These are not aftershocks, these are individual separate shocks due to the similarity in their magnitude. 
The team studied these doublets over decades and they found from analyzing the seismic data that it seemed that the inner core, which was rotating faster than the mantle or super rotating, had started to slow down in the late 2000s and started rotating at the same speed as the mantle in about 2009 to 2011. So, relative to the mantle, the inner core stopped spinning at this time and it has continued to slow down since. It is now sub-rotating or rotating slower than the mantle, but everything is rotating in the same direction. This is what the study found. So when geologists and seismologists say that the inner core stopped rotating, they mean it relative to the rotation of the mantle. What happened is, well, similar to mercury in retrograde. Mercury being in retrograde is an astrophysical phenomenon that has been co-opted by astrology. It basically means that the Earth overtakes Mercury in its orbit and therefore to us on Earth's surface, Mercury appears to briefly orbit backwards, although it is simply continuing in its normal orbit. The same thing is happening here. To us on Earth's surface, the core briefly appears to be spinning backward when it slows down, but it's not. It matched speed with the mantle and then continued slowing down to sub-rotate. This sub-rotation and super-rotation is not new. Researchers have found previously data confirming that the Earth's inner core changes its speed of rotation. It is believed that in the 60s it rotated slower than the mantle and from the early 70s it started rotating faster. Many scientists also believe that there are periodic changes in geophysical phenomena on Earth every 60 to 70 years. This periodicity is seen in many things. There is some oscillation in the Earth's magnetic field dipole. There is an oscillation with the mean sea level rise, mean global temperature, mantle plume activity, the length of one day, variations in the Atlantic and Pacific oceans and many other such observations. All of these parameters seem to go up and down the average every 60 to 70 years. For the longest time, the speculation has been that all of this is being driven by activity in the core because what else could affect the magnetic field around Earth and also mantle activity and a bunch of other global phenomena. And the new findings add more evidence to this model and this theory. It seems that the rate of rotation of the inner core varies periodically every 60 to 70 years. But why? Why does the core change its speed like this and why this particular time period? And the complete answer to that is we don't know. There are many theories such as periodic perturbations or even gravitational fields of the sun and moon which we already know are slowing down the rate of rotation of the earth. These theories fit this current model, but there are also other theories and models about the core itself. Some scientists believe that the inner core modifies seismic waves because of its surface and interior structure. Others believe that there are aberrations on the surface that could affect seismic wave propagations because we're understanding everything that we do about the inner core from studying only seismic waves. So we do not have a clear picture and we don't know. And in fact, we may actually never know what exactly is going on at the inner core, not for a very long time. The activity of Earth's inner core, its super rotation and sub rotation have no effect on our lives here on the surface and on a majority of things we see and observe around us. But they affect other things such natural geophysical phenomena which we saw earlier, which also we still don't fully understand yet. That said, with every new finding like this, we are getting closer to understanding what is happening in the core, how it works and what it in turn affects.